Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. J.R. Fisher here, and I'm really excited about today's webinar, but let me let Jessica say hello first. She'll be answering your questions. If you got any, make sure you type them in that question box over there to the side. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Glad y'all are here. Hey, Patria. Good to see you. Uh, anybody else out there? Let's go ahead and type in that chat box to make sure I know where you're at and who you are. We've got a full house, so that means don't log out. Hey, Linda, what's going on? Bob? Hey, Mohammed, how are you? Got Joe in Seattle. There's David and Judith and Ronald. All kinds of people out there today hey what's really cool today is i'm going to actually take you into our one of our ad sequences and i'm going to show you everything about it i'm going to show you the copy i'm going to show you the images i'm going to show you results i'm going to show you all kinds of stuff so it's kind of interesting i think um because that way you can see what works and i, I gotta tell you i don't always know what's going to work in fact i don't all right i don't know 80 percent of the time what's going to work but we just try to shoot for that 20 percent and by doing that, we get some really good results. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Christopher. Still got a bunch of people. Johan there from South Africa. Uh, John from San Dimas. Where's San Dimas at? Is that, that's California, isn't it? I think it is. That's where I'm at. Type in there and let me know. Uh, Colleen says, good afternoon. That's cool. Debbie is in Philly. All right. Hey, let's see here. Christopher from Jamaica. That's very cool, Mon. I know you probably hear that all the time. That's old, right? <laughs> okay, so let me get started here. I'm going to move my screen around so I can see stuff a little bit here. Got to be able to do that. And here we go. You know, um, this is, the, I guess, the fourth video I've done just on Facebook ads. I could probably do 100 of them. I mean, it's like crazy. It's, it gets so complicated. If anybody agrees with me, type in that little box there. If you've had any experience with Facebook, man, it's it's just crazy. John says he's north of me. Okay, that's cool. I'm in San Diego down here. Um, and I originally had the four simple steps. I have to put simple in there, otherwise you won't show up. If I put the four complicated steps, nobody's going to show up. So I have to put simple. Uh, i got to put simple and easy. We, we overuse those words. So I do that. And I anyhow, I had four. And then I said, wait, there's a big fifth one that I'm missing here so I'm gonna go over all five of them so you know what they are and then and then then what I'm gonna do is uh, actually show you all these images and ad copy and the stuff that worked for us and how we broke it down and what we did uh, and these ads are still actually running now so you could be on Facebook uh, and you'll probably see some of these ads pop up and the reason they're still running is because they work <laughs> so you know that that's uh, very very important you know right we want them to work so what are ads comprised of? They're actually comprised of five things and only five things, that's it, okay? You only need to worry about five things. It's not 50, it's not 100. Um, you can overcomplicate this, but if something's not working, it's because of one of these five things, that's it, okay? So the first one is your ad copy. What does your ad say? And it can be long copy, it can be short copy. You know, the one I'm gonna show you today is very long copy, very, very long. I just will warn you about that but it doesn't have to be but it can be um, the next thing is going to be your ad image or video okay so when you run an ad you're going to have a picture there or you're going to have a video there um, in the ads i'm going to show you today i've got videos and i've got pictures and i'm going to show you the results from which ones did well and which ones didn't do well uh, but they're all for the same project so the next thing we're going to worry about is our landing page. Our landing page is our sales page, whatever. In other words, once they read and see the image, they're going to click. And once they click, they're going to end up somewhere. I'm going to show you our landing page for this particular thing, too. So uh, what's the next one? Next one is the offer. OK, so if you got good ad copy, you know, and, and people like it and they get a good image and they click on it and they get the landing page. But you're selling, you know, I don't know, a book for ten thousand dollars. You know, you're probably not going to get a lot of takers. So, you know, if when we go through these steps, you gotta kind of figure out where people are falling off. Where where is it they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing? And the last thing is the audience, and I, I put that last, but really that's first. Okay, your audience is your ad set. Your audience is who's going to see this ad. So you could have great ad copy, you could have great images and great videos. And, 
incredible landing pages and a fantastic offer. But you know, if you're selling tractor parts to people who are tennis players, you're not going to do well. Okay. So all those things have to be in place. So let's talk about ad copy here first. It's got to call out some kind of problem. Okay. So, you know, these are called pain points or, you know, issues that a customer may have. Um, and then another thing you can do with it, you don't always have to do this. You can tell a story. Um, the ad copy I'm going to show you today, we actually do tell a story uh, and we talk about problems and you can do both of these in your ad copy too. Um, and then of course, whatever you're trying to sell or get them to download or whatever, that should be the solution to the problem that you brought up and the solution to the story that you told. Okay. And you got to speak to your audience. It's like I said, you, you know, if, if you're talking to people who are runners, you want to talk to about all the pain points they're having. If you're talking to people who are pet owners and you're teaching training, you want to talk about, you know, the dog peeing on the carpet or the dog not listening or barking constantly. So you've got to make sure, even though you're, you're focusing on your audience, if you're not bringing up their pain points, if you're not saying the things that they relate to, you're still not going to do well with it. Okay. But here's the thing. If you can describe your audience's problem better than they can, you can sell them anything. So if they, if they read your copy, they read your story and they go, wow, that's me. You're going to be able to sell those people. And you want to keep that in mind when you're writing this stuff. Okay. And a lot of people say, well, I'm not good at writing. And you know, none of us are good at anything until we get good at it. That's what you want to think about. None of us are good at anything until we get good at it. So you just got to practice this and do this over and over again. And, you know, you can hire copywriters to do all this, but I think it's, better that you learn how to do it and then if you want to hire somebody that's fine because you can't manage people you know on something that you don't even know how to do so i think it's really important that you realize this okay so let's kind of look at what this ad copy should do okay everybody is going away from x to get to y okay so they've got an issue they've got a problem okay and they're not happy something's not going well and their thing is they want to go to a spot where they're what? They're happy. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so this is really all you're trying to do. You're trying to take this person who's got a problem, who's got an issue, and you're trying to make them happy. Now, how do they get happy from being unhappy? Well, that would equal your solution or your offer. So whatever you're selling, whatever you're trying to get them to buy, whatever you're trying to get them to download, whatever it is, that solution should make them happy. And it's really that simple. It's, you know, the smiling face to the, or frowning face to the smiling face. It's really that easy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up some images and videos of different types of um, images we put up for this one product. The product we're selling is a book and it's a downloadable PDF. Okay. So this is the first one right here, and I'm going to play it for you. And you see the book pop up and it says, get it now. Okay. So that's the first ad we ran or the first image we ran. Okay. The ad copy for all of these is the same. Here's the next image we ran. It's just a picture of a book and it's setting on some wood and it's got an arrow pointing at it. That's all there is to it. Okay. It didn't take a lot of work to do that one. Um, this one here is an unrelated one. Now this is actually me and my wife, Jessica, and we are at the Jimmy Kimmel show in Los Angeles. I actually, um, met the guy that runs the Jimmy Kimmel show. He's a ABC executive. And I tell you what, if you don't have a friend that runs a TV show, you got to get you one because <laughs> it was pretty cool. He uh, let us go into the green room and we hung out there and got to see all the celebrities as they went, you know, uh, on the show. And then he took us and that's a, that's like kind of a backstage thing, but not really. He actually took us on the stage. Um, and that night after the audience was leaving, he walked us all around the stage. And that's the cue card that Jimmy Kimmel used. And he says, here, take this. Here's the souvenir." here. So anyhow, I ran that image. OK. Uh, and then we've got this one here. And this is another video. This is all for the same product. OK. We're selling that book. It's very similar to the one above. And if you've got any comments on which ones you think did the best, you can start sticking them down there. And I'm going to tell you in just a second which one did the best. Okay, now this is another one where it's just us out to dinner, but it's in black and white. And our thought was, well, if it's black and white, everybody else's is color, then maybe we'll do black and white. Okay, 
Somebody saying number four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's a spinning box. And that does speak to e-commerce, you know? And understand when I did all these uh, different images, I obviously thought they would work because I did them, all right? So I, I was wrong on some of these. Uh, the next one here is, let's play that one for you. It's a video and it's peanuts falling into a box. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever worked with peanuts before, but when I first started my food company, I've got another vote for number four. I got a vote for dollars. I'm not sure what is that supposed to be a five? Maybe it's five. Another vote for number four. Christine says, John says number four. All right. And let's see what the next one is. It's a picture of me and my new grandson. Yes, I'm that old. I have a grandson now. Isn't that terrible? Getting that old. Uh, Christine's number four. Linda's saying one. Mohammed's saying three. Okay. And then I've got another one here. And this is, uh, I don't know if you guys remember Alex, he worked with me on Digital Cash Academy. That's him. And we were in Bangkok on the rooftop of the hotel I was staying at. And he's from Serbia. Uh, he wanted to come to the U.S., but he couldn't get a visa. A little issue with that right now. Stephanie's saying number one. Um, and anyhow, so we, we took a picture. We were on the top of this thing. That's Alex from Serbia and me on the rooftop. Now, get your votes in. I've got a lot of votes for number one. I got a lot for number four. I've got number four again. Hey, Ferris, how you doing, buddy? Got your email. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. Steve says four. Got a lot of votes for four. I'm getting uh, Richard says number one. Ronald says number one. Victoria says number four. Guys, pick one or six. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's the big reveal. This may shock you. That's the number one image I had. The number one, the one that I put the least amount of time into, the one that's probably the ugliest on the page. Now, I have a couple more images that are working better now than that because I didn't stop at that. Um, what we do is once we get one that works, I got more votes for number one, number four, number four, number one, uh, cleaner. Uh, but that's the one that worked. The videos didn't work at all. They didn't do anything, you know, and I spent time on those. I understand I had to do the video. I had to slide in the book. I had to get the little arrow thing. We had to have the right timing. They did nothing, nothing. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you which one came in second place. Okay. Second place. Uh, Joe says, wow, this is simplicity. Yes, it is. And it's weird, isn't it? Um, second place, guys, put your votes in. I'm getting votes for number three. I got votes for number one, number one. People like number one. At least you guys do. My audience didn't, right? <laughs> okay, so number one, staying with number four, Christine. Number six, Linda says, Judas number one, John's five, Ronald six. I'm not reading everybody out. I'm reading out some of you guys who are here frequently. Okay, ready for the big reveal? I wish we had a drum roll. Jessica, do we have a drum roll sound effect? We don't. She did not prepare that. Say, can you like, all right, so we'll do away with that. Boom. There's number two. Crazy, right? This picture was just one I had, and it had nothing to do with anything. I just grabbed it off my file. And people liked one, two, three, four, five, number five. John picked number five. There he goes. Six, Richard, Ferris, four, number eight, Stephanie. Okay, so it, you know, I don't, you never know what's going to work. You never know. And I got to tell you, the ones with the spinning and the videos, they got like zero sales. They did terrible. The other ones got some sales. So that was okay. I got sales on all the other ones. But those were my top two. Okay. So what can we learn from this? Here's what we can learn from this. You, we have to try a lot of different things. You just got to try a lot of different things. I was telling Jessica right before I started this webinar, I had somebody send me a message on Facebook and they said that they were having problems because their ads weren't working. And I said, well, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific than that. So guess what they said back? They said they weren't getting any sales. <laughs> so there's, there's a few more parts to this and I want to go over all these parts, but I get that they weren't getting sales. I mean, I already figured that part out, but I need more details. So when you guys ask me questions, give me some detail, you know, send me your ad copy, send me your, images you know tell me how many clicks you got i mean to to really look at this stuff and figure it out you know i've got to look at all these things because you got these five moving parts starting with your audience and you know then you've got your copy and your your images and your landing page and you got your offer okay 
So I need, I need more pieces. So I'm going to show you all the pieces on this thing today, with the exception of the audiences, because there's so many of them. Uh, and I think I went over that uh, last week a little bit, these different audiences. But So let's talk about landing page first. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about is the landing page. This is once they click on your ad, and I'm going to get back to the ad in a second, they're going to end up at this spot, okay? So here's my landing page right here. And it says, new book reveals how to find profitable products. And I'm actually, I made a little, hang on, guys. I want to slide this up. I made a video out of this so I could actually walk you through this landing page. The reason I keep clicking back and forth is every time I click to change it, it goes back to PowerPoint. Okay, so I've got the title up here. And it says, new book reveals how to find profitable products to sell online. Four simple steps with zero risk even if you have no experience or technical knowledge. So what we're doing is we're kind of calling out, you know, the first thing they're going to worry about is, well, I can't do that. So then I have a letter here and I say, you know, uh, but first you got to read this disclaimer. And basically I say in this disclaimer, you know, I'm not typical. Okay. I've been doing this for nine years and I may get better results than you. Um, you know, the average person who buys any how to information gets little or no results whatsoever. Of course, it's because they don't do anything, you know, uh, and it can vary depending on many factory or factors like, you know, how much work you put in your background, your experience, work ethic, blah, 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 blah. So I tell them all this and I tell them, hey, if they're not planning on working, you know, don't get the book. Just don't get it. Right up front, I call that out, you know, to let them know it's valid. You know, I'm not going to tell you it's, it's get rich quick. And then I tell them exactly what they're going to get. First of all, this isn't like any other book you've gotten before. Uh, these are battle tested tactics that are working right now. It's easy to read. It's only 40 pages. and uh, you can read it in an afternoon, okay? And then I have a call to action button there. Um, send me the book. So all you got to do is click, send me the book. Uh, and it's more about than just finding products, okay? And it should be, right? Uh, it's about, uh, and then I start listing things on different pages, know exactly what your profit will be, uh, what you can do today, learn exactly what to say in an ad, page 23. And I actually call out the page number. Find tons of products in just minutes, page 24. Uh, and why you can be a tech dummy, it doesn't matter. Uh, why buying any inventory is a huge mistake. So these are things that they think they have to do when they don't, okay? Uh, and then I have another call to action button right there. Uh, an advanced stealth persuasion video training for starting an e-commerce business. So I let them know, but they get something a little extra in this and they're gonna get some video training specifically designed for people who hate selling and have no technical skills. So once again, I call out those people that are worried because they're always gonna be worried uh, I tell them I started with zero technical skills. Um, and uh, what else here? First of all, um, you get genuine help from people who want your products. And I go down here and I talk about, you'll know how to make more sales to the same customers, which is important, right? I want to keep selling to those people. Then I tell them, here's what you need to do next. Okay, you got to call this out to them. And I tell them the cost of the book is $5.60. You can access it anywhere. And then I say, there's no catch because people are like, well, this is a lot for $5 and 60 cents. Um, so I, I tell them there is no catch. Okay. There's no hidden, you know, continuity programs. There's nothing. I'm literally giving you the entire book for $5 and 60 cents. That means I'm putting my best, uh, best foot forward. Um, time is of the essence. So we have a little bit of um, urgency here. We always want to have some urgency. Uh, in most cases, uh, I take a loss when I sell this book, cost me $21 in advertising expense to sell a book. So that sounds crazy, right? Uh, why would I do that? And then I explain to them why I would do that because when people read the book, they like it and they're probably going to come back to me and they're going to buy a course from me or some coaching or something from me. And overall, uh, it's profitable for me. And then I have another call to action button once again. Uh, and I tell them, you're going to see the actual process I'm running, you'll see the products I'm selling. Uh, even tell you exactly what to advertise to have customers begging to buy from you. Uh, and there's no charge for it, okay? So they're getting a really, really good deal. Uh, oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, of course, there's a money back guarantee. I have that down at the bottom. And I'm getting to it here. It's the craziest guarantee in the world. It's 100% guarantee you'll love this book and the new video training, or I'll return the $5.60 and you keep the book and the video training anyhow. Uh, that's right. You don't even have to send me anything back. Of course, how could they? Because this is digital. <laughs> so they don't have to send anything back. That's fine. Okay. This is truly a limited offer. So claim your copy now before they're all gone. Okay. So there's some urgency there. And of course, they will be all gone at some point because I'll quit running this ad and they won't be awkward to them. 
Uh, then I go back into it, uh, you know, the 40 page book, uh, the cost is $5 and 60 cents. So what I'm doing in the PS here is reiterating all the things that I've said above this. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is some people just jump to the PS. So I kind of, you know, bullet point all the stuff they're going to get. Um, 100% built in goodwill, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then I tell them, uh, let's see, you don't even need to send the book back. Of course you don't. Uh, and I have another little call to action there. You won't regret it. And then I have a full disclaimer on the bottom of this, you know, because, you know, some people just don't work and they don't do anything. And then I have the links on the bottom that are necessary for Facebook. Uh, Facebook does require that you have, you know, your privacy, your terms, your disclaimer, all that good stuff in there. You're going to have to have a disclaimer page if you don't have one, but you can use that disclaimer page for all your products. And then I have a, a little picture down there and we got our copyright stuff. And I also tell them if they're not willing to accept these terms, do not get this book right off the bat. I tell them that. Okay. I don't want anybody to believe that it's, you know, just easy and then everybody gets rich because that's just not the case. So let me scroll back to the top here, Get back up to the top of this letter. And as you see, it's a nice long letter. When they click these button here, this window is going to pop up and it's going to populate their name and email. And all they have to do is say, send me the book. And it's all over, right? No, what this is doing is tagging them right now. Ecom book interested. Okay, so now they've got a tag on their email. Uh, and then when they click it, let me click here. Here is the actual sales page and it's building and it's the four steps book continue right here when they click that. Uh, and I've, I've also listed all the bullet points down here, pretty much the same stuff that was on the other page. I just reiterated on this form here. Okay. So when they click continue, it populates everything. And it's also, let me see here, should pop up, going to give them a chance to get the audio book after this step. Oh, uh, I got to put my country in here. Give me one second. And right now, it's not asking for credit card information, just shipping information. But it has tagged them. Remember, ecom book interested. Okay, so now I've got this audio here, so they can get the audio to the book for only nine dollars more. And you will be surprised how many people take the audio. Now, understand that audio is very profitable for us because it's just an MP4 file. So all we do is send them a link to the file. They download it. And they can listen to the book. So when I click on that, if you notice, it adds that uh, $9 to their order. So now they're at $14.90 instead of $5.60, or $14.60, excuse me. All right. So that's really all there is to that. Does that make sense to everybody? Do you got any questions on that, guys? Feel free to put the questions in there. Uh, Colleen says she lost the audio. I think it's back. Good, 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 good. All right. So... Now what I'd like to do is actually look at one of the ads I've got here. Um, now this is one that's working for us now. Um, and it's just a picture of a brick wall, but it's got some light shining down on it. And it's got a book and a big arrow, you know, pointing at it. Now that, that other one that's on the wood, the book that's on the wood, um, we're still doing that one. It's working fine. Let's see here. Somebody had a question. Let me take a look here. Uh, if they choose not to take the upsell, uh, Jessica's going to look at some of these questions too and help me out. Um, do you have a downsell? Yes, we do on a lot of the funnels. This particular one, I don't have a downsell on this one. Uh, but the upsell on this one, you didn't see yet. The upsell on this one is actually a course. Uh, and it's a membership course. So you actually did not see that. And there's a video on that. Uh, are you using Kartra for those pages? This one is built in Kartra. Uh, Dan, so yeah, that is a card for one. Uh, Christine, so process flow, add, yep, landing page, tag. Oh yeah, I want to tell you about that tag. I'm going to stop there. When they first got tagged with that first tag that says Ecom Book Interested, there's a delay. Okay, there's an email that's scheduled to go out to them that says, hey, you did not complete your order. And I think it's an hour or two. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. But if they're tagged with ecom book buyer then that email will not go out to them that reminds them to buy the book so what it's essentially doing is it's grabbing those people who said hey i'm interested in your book uh but then they don't complete it because they get an email or the kids walk in the room or their computer shuts down or they change their mind or whatever so they're going to get a series of three or four emails saying hey you haven't bought the book you know click here now and you can go back and get the book and we just automate that. Now, at any point in that sequence, if they actually buy the book, 
the sequence stops right there and they will not get any more emails. So, and we're doing that in Kartra. Uh, let's see here. This was uh, really a bump in. Yes, right, Colleen. When it's on the order form and it's a little tick box like that, that is called an order bump, okay? When after they've you know given up their credit card information, all that, and you have a one-time offer, that will come after they filled out their credit card information. And there's a video that plays after that that talks to them about uh, a course uh, that I have that we're offering there. So yeah, that's what that is. Um, so yeah, so now we want to go back. We have, I don't know if I, you have any other questions over there, Jessica. Let's, let's see. She's got one or two she wants to answer. Um. So. So he says, "How long does it take to build a page?" Huh. Jessica, how long does it take to build a page? That depends. <laughs> okay. um, it depends on if it's a new platform that you're using and you're trying to get used to it or if it's a platform you've been using and you are used to it it can go really quickly um, you know if you have an if you have an idea in your head of what needs to be on that page then you can get it done pretty quickly um, yeah I mean the, the one that I showed you guys it's a long one that's a long one that's a lot of writing but we have ones also that are just enter your email that's it you know enter your email to the next step and we put them to the order form and some of those actually work better now this one's working pretty good for us but we're gonna split test it and try it with a simpler one too um, it it can be time-consuming you know and, and that's why I tell people you know it's selling stuff online is not easy that's why it's so profitable because most people are too lazy to do what it takes to do I mean really that's really really it and I'm gonna talk to you about that at the end of this webinar today and I'm going to give you four steps to really succeeding. Uh, and I share them with some of my coaching um, students, too. But, I mean, there's certain stuff you got to do. I mean, you just got to do it, okay? Uh, let's see. Are you happy with the new Kartra? It seems they are added a lot into this program and got rid of a number of their other previous offerings. Um, I don't know what they got rid of. We still have uh, EverWebinar. Um, we, we are on Infusionsoft and I have, you know, different companies, you know, we have a food company that is still on Infusionsoft, but I'm moving over my training to Kartra right now. My food company is much, 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 much larger and it's been around since 2010. So, you know, there's a whole lot more funnels and a whole lot more stuff to move. Um, I just started doing the training a few years ago, two or three years ago. So I'm very happy with it. I like it a lot. Um, uh, Ferris has a question here. What platform is ideal for creating a page? Well, you know, if you haven't bought a platform yet, I would recommend Kartra. And the reason I would recommend Kartra is what Kartra is, is it's an email provider. So if you've got like Aweber, you've got Infusionsoft, you've got, you know, uh, MailChimp, any of that, it does that for you. So you can get rid of it. Okay. If you've got a landing page builder like Lead Pages or something like that, Kartra also does that, so you can get rid of it. If you've got a funnel software like ClickFunnels where you just add funnels, upsells, downsells, Kartra does that, so you can get rid of it. You know, it, it just goes on and on and on. There's so many things in there. What else does it do? Jessica, you're in it all the time. Uh, um, like, well, it has membership sites. Oh, yeah, it has membership sites in there if you want to do that, guys. Uh, it also has a built-in affiliate thing, so if you're selling products and you want affiliates to sell your products, there's an affiliate marketplace just like ClickBank built into Kartra, which is very cool. What else can you think of? It has a help desk. It has a help desk, okay? So if you don't have a help desk, it's built into Kartra. So people can send tickets on your pages. Um, some of the things like in Infusionsoft, and this may be over some of y'all's heads, depending on what your skill level is, but when certain actions are taken um, in Infusionsoft, like somebody clicks on a link, and you want to send them to another sequence, we have to use something called plus this and pay extra for that. In Kartra, it automatically does it. So that's pretty cool, too. Um, somebody else is asking another question here. Deal Guardian is going away, for example. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know I know about Deal Guardian. Thank you, Christine. Um, yep, affiliate program it has. Uh, what's the difference between upselling and downselling? Okay, this is a really good question. You know, and I don't think about that. People don't know that. An upsell or one-time offer is normally something that costs a lot more money than what they just bought, okay, or generally more money. A downsell happens when a person looks at the upsell and says, no, I don't want that, 
you know, and they click no. And as soon as they click no, it takes them to a down sell. And a down sell is a lower priced offer you offer. Now, I'll give you an example of that. You know, we have a, a, a food funnel for our survival food. The upsell is a case of meat for $159. Uh, it's long-term storage canned meats. Uh, if they click no on that, it takes them to a down sell that offers them a small five can sampler for 59 bucks. And there's a video on the page that says, hey, I understand you may not want to invest that much into food right now. Maybe you'd just like to try it out. Here's our sampler package. So that's a down sell. Uh, is Kartra the thing you were talking about that has better than ClickFunnels? I, you know, I'm not going to say it's better than. What I like about Kartra uh, I think it operates a whole lot smoother. It has a lot less glitches in my my experience. Now, I think ClickFunnels is a great product, um, but it does so many things that I'm paying extra software companies for, right? So if I can get rid of all these other software companies and have them in one place, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, Kartra is the one that I, I like. I, I do like it. Keep in mind, I have a membership to ClickFunnels and Infusionsoft right now. Uh, so I, I have to phase that stuff out. Somebody says, I'm having a hard time learning card trick. Yep, you will. And guess what? I do too. And I get frustrated. And last night I was trying to build some pages and I was screaming at my screen and it wasn't working. And, you know, my, my wife calmed me down. Jessica's just calm as she can be and just came over and fixed it. So, yeah, it's going to be hard. Everything's hard that's worth learning. And I, I, you know, I, I talk to people all the time and they'll say, yeah, but that's hard. I'm like, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> but what's your point? I uh, remember a week or two ago, you were talking about new software. Is this it? Yes, this is it. This is it. It has way more things. Yes, it does have way more things. Um, so, yeah. So, let me get on to the next stage of this, guys. And I'm going to go to the screen here. And let's take a look at this one. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is the ad that we're running. Okay. Okay. And this is the ad copy. This is this is an open letter to anyone who has tried to start an e-commerce business and has failed. The truth is, it's not your fault. Um, have you spent your hard-earned cash on ads that did nothing but suck money out of your bank account? And then there's a click there to uh, get this particular product. Uh, have you tried to sell products online and it seemed like uh, everyone else was selling, but no one bought them from you? Um, and so we're calling out these pain points here, right? These things that are bothering people. You probably really worked hard and spent tons of money and got zero results. Okay, so maybe you didn't sell anything. Okay, some of you may have bought uh, from you and may have thought that you were on your way, but then it stopped and you felt like you were back to square one. I want to share some same some things with you that I figured out. Um, how do I know these things work? Because I did them. Okay, uh, if you want to learn from someone. Who not only sold billions of product or dollars worth of products online, but still does sell products online. Get my book, okay? Um, and then I tell them I've been in e-commerce since 2009 and sold millions of dollars of products online. Heck, uh, even I have my own brand of products and thousands of other websites, including Walmart. And then I have that uh, buy link again. Uh, so I ran this little experiment using some old school techniques, many uh, of which no one even knows about. So it's got that secretive thing. I passed on some of the techniques to other people I knew, and they were astonished at how well these strategies work. For just regular, everyday people, uh, I showed them how to, without ever having any technical knowledge or previous experience, they got mind-blowing results, okay? Uh, within, and you can't put specifics, mind-blowing results you can put, but you can't say they made $50 million or anything like that. Um, so that's right, I found out and sold the profitable products without having any experience in e-commerce at all and started making money. Um, I started teaching these simple strategies to more and more people and soon found out it worked for them as well. So I put together the system, these four simple steps, and turned into an easy-to-read book that will teach you how to do the same thing. Another link there. In fact, you can use my system to sell all kinds of products online without having to spend a dime on inventory. But don't take my word for it. Here's one of my students. I give an example. Um, she was in the turtle niche and she sold t-shirts and mugs and all this good stuff. Um, she didn't have to ship out anything because she's a drop shipper. Um, I have another student who's in the camping industry and started selling products. And I was actually in the camping industry in the beginning too, uh, to recreational vehicle people. Um, it's all in this 40 page book and I do let them know it's 40 pages. It's not you know, 300 pages. A lot of people don't read it. They have another call to action there. They can click on it. And then I go back and some of these bullet points are the same ones that you saw on the sales page. And I tell them exactly what they're going to get, what page they're going to be on, 
So when they get to it, they can actually look up that item, read about that item, and I list item after item after item. It's a lot of stuff, okay? Uh, and I let them know it's a valuable book. Okay, you're getting a lot of cool stuff here. All you got to do is click here and I want to hear about your results. Okay, and as you see, we've got a lot of people that saw it and liked it and all that good stuff. So, you know, this is an actual ad, a real ad. Instead of us just kind of talking about what we do, um, this is how we do it. Okay, so any comments? Uh, let's see here. I have. Uh, uh, it has way more things. I have no one to fix it. They got good support over there, Patriot. Um, you know, they really do have good support. Have you successfully set up Facebook Messenger into responder sequences yet? Have you had any successes? Yeah, I have. Uh, we use ManyChat. Um, some of you who have communicated with us that are in this group right now have been actually talking to a bot. Uh, you know, I hate to tell you that, but it's the truth. So yeah, we use that too. We do use bots. I, I like bots. Bots are very cheap. I think mini chat is 10 bucks a month. You know, and of course, if you start doing a whole lot um, with it, it's going to cost you more. Uh, mini chat, is that the correct name? Yes, it's M-A-N-Y, mini chat. That's all there is to it. Very simple. Uh, and it works very, very well. Uh, do you write your own copy? I do write my own copy. Yeah. Um, but you know, that's not to say you couldn't hire somebody, but I, I just, I like to write my own. Uh, I don't, I don't like it. I'll tell I'll tell you the truth about that. It was, I think it was Hemingway and I don't, I can't remember who it was, but they said, how do you write a really good book? Um, and you know, he says you pace around for eight days and get pissed off about it. And then you finally sit down and just write it. And that's what writing really is. It's just, it's, just so, it's so nerve wracking. It's so difficult. Somebody's laughing at me about that. Okay. Thank you, JR. No problem. Christine, uh, when you, when you are selling an item from your mixed store, do you have them go to a landing page or the mixed store? We start off with a landing page. Uh, a mixed store is just to test products. Jessica, you want to field a couple of these? I'm going to take a drink of water. Uh, I've got so many questions coming in. You guys are so good. I really appreciate the questions. Oh, all those times I thought I was serious laughing about this. The <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's see. Oh, the, I had another question about upsells and downsells about how many you should have and um gosh yeah how many upsells and downsells you know i <laughs> you you kind of run a risk sometimes of pissing people off but i know a guy who is in the survival industry right now and he has eight up and down sales on one funnel eight eight and he swears by it so you know i guess his audience knows that they're going to be offered a lot of stuff uh, i know russell brunson has quite a few in his click funnels there's no rule. Uh, I would say the only rule is that you need one. You got to have one. That's the thing that's going to make your funnels profitable. If you don't have one, you're going to be lost. You really are uh, because you, you can't make enough money on the first product. You've got to be able to make stuff on the other one. So someone says, oh my God, eight of them. Yeah, I know, I know. But you know, he swears by it. He's making millions of dollars. Um, I was looking for Kartra, but I couldn't find it online. It's just k-a-r-t-r-a dot com uh andy jenkins will be playing a video and you can just join up there i think it's there's an opt-in and then they put you in this four day sequence or four hour sequence something like that uh somebody's asking is frank kern part of that yeah he owns um 10 of that company just so you know and i tell you it's it's really built well and you know i don't want to get off into a carter tangent here but it's really built well, and the reason it's built well is because the people who designed it are digital marketers. It's not software people. So they hired software people to write it, but, you know, you know Frank Kern would say, hey, this is one of my frustrations that I'm having. You know, let's fix it. And one of the biggest frustrations is that you got to go so many places, you know, to do a funnel. You know, you've got to go to ClickFunnels, and you've got to go to your page builder, and you got to go to your email provider. And, you, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And with, you know, Archer, it's all right there. I should I should drop an affiliate link. You guys are interested in this stuff. Um, okay, so now I want to get on to uh, what's going to help you guys make this work. Hey, there you go. How about this? This is how life works. Did you want to know how life works today? I'm going to fill you in real quick, okay? And then we'll be done, okay? But let me tell you how life works, okay? So here's the deal. Number one, you've got circumstances, okay? You got circumstances. You've got family, 
you got a job, you have a certain amount of money in the bank or no money in the bank. Um, you've got your health. Um, you've got, you know, your looks. Um, you got all these things. They're just circumstances. Though. Because you can take any of these things and two different people with the same exact circumstances could react differently to them. I have a friend who's uh, on his second bout with cancer. Uh, and he's in his eighties now and he had his first bout when he was in his fifties and he beat it and it came back, um, it was about 10 years ago, Jessica, something like that, Luigi. So like 10 years ago and he's 82 or 83 now. And they told him when he was diagnosed that they would give him, um, five to 10 years to live. And I said, well, that's no genius doctor. You tell a 72 year old, they got five to 10 years to live. I said, shoot, I could be a doctor with that kind of advice. But the thing was with this circumstance, it's been 10 years since they told him that, by the way. Uh, and it's throughout his body, it's throughout his bones, it's everywhere. But we go out to dinner all the time. Uh, we were windsurfing up until uh, two, three years ago. Um, and he has not let it affect him because his feelings about that are, that's just a circumstance. He travels, goes on five or six trips a year. Um, and you know, he's battling it, but you know, this is the next thing, guys, what are your feelings about your circumstances? You know, whatever your circumstances are, are what they are. Now, sometimes you can change them. Sometimes you can actually do something about it and change them. Sometimes you can't. So if, you know, a lot of people say, well, how do you get up in the morning and be excited and want to get going and doing all that? My answer is I don't. Well, there's a lot of mornings I get up. I don't want to do anything. But I know for a fact that I can't have that kind of feeling about it. I've got to have a good feeling about it because your feelings will control your next thing that I'm going to put up here. And that's going to be your actions. OK, if you feel like you're down and you're tired and you don't want to do anything, it's going to affect your actions. Now, you actually may feel down and tired, not feel good, but you got to force yourself to do things. Anyhow, you got to tell yourself you feel great. You got to tell yourself it's wonderful. You know, you have another day. You got another shot at this. Um, that, you know, even though you're broke, you know, you're going to go out and try because, you know, what's the alternative to being broke? A lot of people say, well, I'm broke. I can't do anything. Well, that's the person that needs to do something. If you're broke, you really need to do something. You know, if you're wealthy and getting up in the morning, you should go back to bed. You're good. You know, <laughs> but if you're broke, that's when you need to do something. OK, so you need to change your feelings about this. OK, you need to look at this differently. Um, and we've got a lot of comments in there and I'm going to get to this in just a second, guys. I'm going to get through these steps. So those feelings about your circumstances will control your actions. In other words, what are you going to do? Are you going to go build a funnel? Are you going to try to run an ad? Are you going to try to you know, get some images? Are you going to write some copy? You know, um, these things are difficult to do, but you just got to do them. But if you feel right about it, you'll have the right actions. Now, if you take your circumstances and you feel right about them and you take some action, this is what you're going to get. Results. Results. That's where your results come from. You know, people say, well, I'm not getting good results. And I just back up and I say, well, what have you done? And they say, well, I haven't done this because I feel like this. <laughs> so if you if you look at this process, guys, it's just four steps. Um, if I told you that in, you know, 60 days, you were going to be a multimillionaire if you did these steps and I could guarantee you that was going to happen, you'd probably say, give me the steps. I'm on it. Right. But the problem is you don't have that feeling. You don't feel like it's going to work out. So you don't do those actions. And since you don't do those actions, you don't get those results. So I've got to, I've got to just really impress upon you that these things are so very important that you got to get it in your head that you've got to change your feelings. You're not always going to feel great. You're not always going to feel confident. You're not always going to feel like you look good on camera or that you can write stuff. But if you don't change those feelings, your actions will be nothing. You'll say, well, I sat around and I binged on Netflix. You know, and I didn't get any good results. You won't. OK, you won't get good results from binging on Netflix. It won't happen. Um, it may, you know, take you away from the world for a second. But, you know, how much of your day do you spend watching other people live their lives on a TV box? You know, <laughs> it's crazy. All right. So I want to go ahead and hit a few more questions. We've, as usual, run a little over time, but that's OK. You guys have been a great group today. and I really appreciate that. So let's get to Q&A. If you have any questions about these ads um if you have any questions about copy if you have any questions about processes this is the time to do it and i'm going to click here so i can see some of these questions um this is part of the reason i come here every friday 
I am not doing everything I can yet, but I am doing something and keep on trying. That's awesome. I'm not going to read who that is, but that's really awesome. Uh, and that's it. You know, and, and people say, well, well, this is motivation. Every now and then you got to get motivated. You need somebody to help you get motivated, remind you stuff. Uh, and that keeps me positive. Uh, this person says, I appreciate you, JR. Very nice of you. Um, so do you guys understand this process? Do you understand these ads? You see how we tried a whole lot of different images. And then once we found the one that worked, we didn't stop. That last image that I showed you, this one here, okay? That image is a brand new one that we stuck out there. So you don't stop, you know? You just, every time you get a success, you test something else against it. We're gonna test different ad copy and I'll test this different. As a matter of fact, I just finished a video last night and I completely changed a video that was the upsell on that particular funnel. Uh, and I have two others that I have to uh, edit now. Um, stop watching other people live their lives on TV. Yes. And, and what is this? Lives on TV and start making life worthy of being written about. Oh, that's really good. Oh, you're a writer, aren't you, Christine? That's very good. You ought to, you ought to put a little quotation marks around that and stick that on your page. <laughs> that's some good stuff, man. Um, somebody saying, how much is Kartra? Um, yeah, I don't know all the price points. It's, it's going to be dependent upon your list. And I think the cheapest entry point is 89 bucks. Isn't that right, Jessica? But I think they have a dollar trial for the first two weeks, something like that. So that, that's pretty good. Um, I like the simple four steps. Good. It's all there is to it. Really, it's that simple. It's that easy. Not hard. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have in here? Jessica, do you see any questions on your end? Don't be looking there. You got to look right here. Right here is where you'll find them. Um, let's see. That's right here. There's a lot of. We've got dead silence over there. Yeah. She must be reading. Oh, goodness. I know. I'm just trying to go through what everybody's writing, but it's a lot of thank yous. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool stuff. Yeah. Um, Ferris says it's a dollar trial for 14 days. Thank you, Ferris. There's another one underneath that. But Patria, can you? Says you. Don't read out loud. Oh, don't read out loud. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, just a, a lot of people are um, thankful for the um, this is how life works segment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every now and then we need that, right? Along with tactics. Yeah. Right. We need we need to get our heads screwed on straight. Um, you know, I was in sales for many years, and we used to tell the salespeople. Take a check up from the neck up before you take an up. <laughs> and an up was a customer, you know, and, and you really need to do that. If you go out there, you know, with the ad, if you, if you sit down to do ads and, and write copy and all that with the attitude, it's like, oh, God, I hate doing this. Instead of the attitude in 60 days, maybe I'm going to make a million dollars, you know, you know, it, it just changes your whole perspective on this. Uh, my perspective on Fridays is that we like to take a little time off and do one thing. And some of you already know about that. And um, I think I've got like, I don't know, I looked this morning, like less than 20 spots for friends on Facebook. But if you're interested in seeing what we do on Fridays, um, somebody said they're bad at writing. And the only way you get good at something is by doing it. It's the only way. That's the only way. I promise you. You know, we, we were all bad at walking at one point, you know, but we fell down a lot and we got it. So don't tell you. The first thing you want to stop doing is telling yourself you're bad at something. It's like bad self-talk. Don't ever tell yourself you're bad at something. Tell yourself you're getting better at something, and you are. Somebody says, we're going to lunch. We are going to lunch. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Your classes are like gospel to budding entrepreneurs. Thank you very much. Can't wait to meet you all. Good. Yes. And, and you know, we're thinking about doing some live events. So, you know, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. They will probably be held in san diego because that's where i live and i don't want to travel to some far off place for an event and it would be a lot easier for me here so we'd be doing it here but guys we're going to go ahead and back out of here i really appreciate all of the participation you guys stuck in here to the very end i hope you got something good out of it if so post something in the group let, let the other people know you know i appreciate any comments in the group if you're not a member of the group um go to the art of e-commerce success Join up there, be part of the conversation, help other people, and you can also get free help there too, which is really nice. So Jessica, you want to tell everybody goodbye so we can get off to lunch, and you'll see yes. me soon on Facebook.
Yeah. Uh, so you're very interested. Okay, have a good lunch. Thanks a lot. I write a lot. I do it all the time. Cool. Enjoy your lunch. Bye, Jessica. So this is bye, Jessica. Bye, everybody. See y'all. Bye. Right. Hear y'all next week. <laughs> we will talk to you soon, guys. Bye, bye.